Hi, I'm Greg from WorkAid Technologies and this is the first of a series of videos that we'll put together to show you about cab pressurisation, air filtration, what we do and why we do it. Today I'd like to talk to you about cab pressurisation in particular. So, here we have a vehicle travelling down the road, it could be a heavy vehicle, and we have air flowing up over the top and air flowing underneath. Now it's a lot like an airplane wing, we have high pressure underneath and low pressure on top. Now the net effect of all of this, there's a few dynamics to the vehicle but the net effect is that we have low pressure inside the cab. And on another video we'll put some gauges in a vehicle and we'll drive around and we'll show you that effect. Now, what is this doing for you? Well, when we have a low pressure inside the vehicle it's going to pull air from outside in now that air probably has dust in it as well if you're on a mine site. So when you're on a mine site they'll tell you to have your windows up and your air conditioner on recirculate. So what's that really doing for us? Not a lot to be honest because we still have dust being pulled in through door handles, door seals, window seals and all the air conditioning is really doing is, so we've got our air conditioner in the front, is it's picking that dust up, going through the evaporator and pumping it back out at your face, the operator's face. The, the evaporator will block up and will fail and it will just end up with a dirty cab as well. So it's not really ideal. So how, how would we normally go about fixing this? Well, normally, and it could be a light vehicle, could be a heavy vehicle, the first thing we do is we put a cab pressuriser on. And this is where we hear a lot of people talking about HEPA filtration. That's a high efficiency particulate air, is what it stands for. Uh, this is a really high level of filtration, so it's actually 0.3 micron at 99.97% efficiency. Now, is that really helping us? Well, if we put a, a cab pressuriser right here and we pump air in to the vehicle and we'll take this low pressure away, and that's now high pressure inside the vehicle. So. What's happening? Well, first off, if this is a hot environment, we're putting a lot of hot air into the vehicle that isn't air conditioned. So we've got a bit of a competing situation here. So it's not the most comfortable way of doing things. Now, while we do have a high pressure inside and it's keeping dust out from coming in door handles, door seals again, any dirt or dust poured in on the operator, on your boots, on your clothes, is going to be picked up from the air conditioner off your floor, put through the air conditioner, through the evaporator and pump out again. And it will just keep cycling around like this. So again, your evaporator will fail. Your cab is still dirty. Uh, if you have a, a cab pressurizer on a vehicle and your vents are dirty in your air conditioner, this is exactly what is happening. So end of the day, the net result is this cab pressurizer it is useless. Now we're not the only people to notice this effect. Uh, Caterpillar have a, a cab air quality system. Now they also make mention of this in their brochure where they say the HEPA filter will not guarantee the operator cab environment is the HEPA level of cleanliness. So this is exactly what we're seeing right here. So how do we combat this? Well we do have some options. We could take that pressurizer off of there and we could put a, a kit that we make uh, is a snorkel on the front of the vehicle going into the air conditioner and we have a filter pack up on the roof. Now when we do this we can't use a HEPA filter unfortunately they're just too restrictive it just affects the air conditioner too much it just won't work but we can use a very good filter and we can filter the dust out. We can't put it in a hazardous area, but we can keep the dust out. What we do in this situation is we have the, the air conditioner set to outside air all the time now. So we get always filtered outside air coming in through the air conditioner. So what stops happening is we stop picking up dirt off the floor, putting it through the air conditioner, and we also pressurise the cab so we keep everything out. Now this is a really good fix on like a normal mine side vehicle where we're just trying to stop dust. So we use this snorkel right here and a filter pack.
Now, if you're in a hazardous environment, this isn't really going to work for you because the nasties are still going to go straight through the filter and you're going to breathe those in. So we don't want that. So, in this case, there's companies out there that will put a pressuriser on and will pressurise into the cab like we were before. And on the other side of this, they'll have what they call a recirculation unit, which will take air out of the back of the cab, it'll clean it and put it back in the back of the cab again. And this is sort of a fix, sort of, because we're cleaning the air in the cab and we have high pressure inside to keep dust out. But again, anything brought in on the person will end up on the floor down here, will get sucked up into the air conditioner and blown in your face. And it will just keep going around and around and around. While the unit is cleaning the cab, it's cleaning it pretty slowly. So this is not really ideal. What we believe is the best fix, and I'll just take all this off here, is exactly what we have here. This is our patented high flow HEPA filtration unit. Now the way this works is we take air out of the back of the cab up into the filter unit, we clean it and then we put it back down into the air conditioner. Now this filter unit is flowing 100% of the air for the air conditioner it takes over from the air conditioner completely. Now, the air conditioner will always get HEPA filtered air. Now, if that's getting 100% HEPA filtered air, so is the operator. So air is coming out towards the operator, perfectly clean. Any dirt brought in on their clothes, boots, anything like that, is down on the floor down here, and it's getting drawn up by the system underneath the seats, up into the filtration unit, cleaned, and put back in, and this cycle keeps going. Now this is a cab that is a 0.3 micron protected, like HEPA filtration. This is how you properly do it. So I hope we've answered a few questions there. We may have created a few more. Please, if you have any questions, contact us. Uh, our website's uh, workairtechnologies.com or even contact us on our Facebook page. Thank you very much for listening.